Good morning, gentlemen. My name is Richard Muchka, and I am the founder of the Onward Men Podcast, a podcast built specifically for high-performance men that want to grow, that want to grow an income, an impact, and dominate your God-given purpose. And with that being said, guys, today is Marriage Wednesday, and I believe that all men have a great responsibility in their homes to nurture their relationships, to nurture their wife. In fact, the stats are staggering, guys, but close to 60% of all marriages will fail. And in my opinion, guys, men have to step up in marriages. You have to beat that 60%. You have to get better than that. And this podcast is going to help you do that. But with that being said, I am all about the five M's of manhood, which are money, mission, muscles, mindset, and of course, marriage. And I believe, gentlemen, with all of my heart that you got to have all five if you want to be considered a high performance man. And with that being said, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in with the podcast. This podcast, guys, is growing, growing rapidly, and I appreciate it. If you're listening to this, and if you're getting great content, you're getting great value, man, that makes me more happy because the one thing that I love more than anything else in this world, my wife, my family, of course, but I love seeing men win. I love seeing men have a zest for life. I love looking out, going to the grocery store, going around and seeing guys that are on living life with purpose, that live life with a mission, that live life to dominate every single day. So that fires me up. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to give you the three R's, right? The three R's in your relationship, the three R's in marriage, which you need to start implementing today because your wife needs it. She's counting on you. Number one, guys, your wife needs more reassurance. Your wife needs more reassurance every single day, guys. She needs reassurance. She needs to, you need to remind her how much you love her. You need to remind her how much you care for her. You need to remind her how much she means in your life. It is so easy, gentlemen. I'm speaking to myself. So easy to take for granted the good things in your life because they're just there. They're just around and you lose focus, you lose track, life gets in the way and you just think your wife knows, your, your, your wife remembers, your wife this. Guys, if there's one thing that you need to start doing, starting today, is reassure your wife. Give her the confidence that, hey, you know what? I'm here for you. I'm sticking this out for the long run. I'm going to love you. I support you. I want you to win. She needs to hear this constantly, guys. We all need to hear it constantly. So that's number one. Number two, gentlemen, in your relationship with your wife, she needs way more reverence. Do you reverence your wife? Do you give her esteem in front of others? Do you encourage her in front of others? Do you show your kids? Do you show others, this is my wife, and oh my gosh, I love my wife. Do you praise her in public? Do you give her that reverence that she needs, that she craves, because she's an awesome mom, because she's an awesome wife, and that reassurance in combination with that reverence of praise in public, letting others know while you're out and about how much your wife means to you, right? That is going to light up her world, gentlemen. That is going to make sure that she knows my husband is on my side. He's on our team. We have a team and we know exactly where we're going with this family union. So number one is reassurance. Number two is more reverence. And number three, gentlemen, and if this, if nothing else, get this. She needs relentless pursuit. Relentless pursuit, guys. If you think about why you married your wife, why you got married in the first place, why you're in this relationship in the first place, it's because you are in pursuit. You were after her. You were trying to get her, right? To love you, to care for you because you wanted that. You you saw something in her that you wanted and you pursued it. You were pursuing it. That's why dating is so awesome because you have two people that are falling in love, that are pursuing each other daily. They're looking forward to seeing each other. They're looking forward to talking to each other. Guys, do not lose your zest in your marriage because nobody is pursuing anymore. If there's one thing, gentlemen, that you take away from this podcast is relentless, relentless pursuit. Are you still moving forward, moving towards your wife? Are you still looking forward to those date nights? Are you still looking forward to being with her and talking with her and sharing life together? Do you pursue every single day? Gentlemen, it is hard to do this. It is really hard to do this. It's not easy to do this. 
But if you're looking for an easy life, if you're looking for no problems, then this is not the podcast for you, right? We're men. We are the leaders. We are the ones that are going to cultivate our families. And if you're looking for easy, then this is not the right podcast, gentlemen. This is to make sure that you are uncomfortable. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable to relentlessly pursue your wife. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable to reverence your wife and others. And yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable to reassure your wife every single day. But gentlemen, you got to get out of the comfort and you got to beat the 60% of marriages that are divorced seeing today. And those three R's, gentlemen, will make sure that your wife knows and remembers and understands how much you love her, adore her, cherish her, and want her around. And if you can do that every single day, guys, you cannot lose, right? You cannot lose. Tell me this. How can a marriage fail? How can a marriage fail when you have a a man in the house that was relentlessly pursuing his wife, reassuring her every day, and is stepping up and being the leader in his home and making sure that, hey, my wife knows we're on the same page. My wife understands how much I love her. Guys, it's almost impossible. It's impossible. So you got to step up to the plate. you got to be a man. you got to do the hard things. And if you're looking for easy, you're never going to win. All right, gentlemen, with that being said, I hope you dominate your day. I hope you keep on crushing your goals and you live with purpose. Without purpose in your life, guys, you are going to start digging holes all over the place. You're going to start digging holes of sexuality and abuse. You're going to start digging holes of pornography. You're going to start digging holes of violence and anger. Guys, men without purpose, they run rampant. They're walking zombies and they live life with no zest and just... Guys, they've lost it. They've lost the will to win. You gotta find a purpose and you gotta pursue that purpose every single day of your life. That purpose is what wakes you up. That purpose is what makes life fun. That purpose is what gives you that feeling inside of, man, I'm dominating my freaking days. I want you to win, man. I want you to win. I want you to dominate. And if this podcast helps you, if you think this can help another man, maybe improve his marriage, maybe not have that 60% divorce rate. If you think this can help a man change his mindset and get out of that funkies and that depression and anxiety and all the crazy emotions of this world, then gentlemen, I invite you to share this podcast. Help other men win. Help other men succeed because that's what it's all about. Men get better. The world gets better, gentlemen. All right? I'm out. And of course, if you need help, leveling up your life, guys. As a man, if you need help just getting out of that rut, if you want to make more income, if you want to have more impact in your life, but you're not sure how to do it, where to go, where to start, I was there. I used to be that man, and I know exactly how to get you to that next level. So I invite you to apply to richardmujica.com forward slash man up and apply there if you think you got what it takes. We're out, guys. Peace.